So speaking of going to jail, retaining information and stuffs, and going to jail. No, 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 no. Getting locked up. I'm sure y'all heard about this. Switch some trainers. Maybe. Let me pull it up here. Two chains talks to Elon Musk's new Tesla, Optimus Robot Emotion 3. Let's dive into some tech meets hip hop news. Uh, two chains recently no, had a fascinating conversation around the studio, showcasing the future of transportation. What's up, bro? Heading to the right. Oh, right, here. right, here, right here. To your left, to your left. There you go, man. Two chains, how you doing? What's up? Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Right. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Optimus. Okay. My name is Tony. Tony? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Tony. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Hey, can you uh, awesome. can you can you play basketball? Can you shoot like jump shots? Hmm. Maybe one day. I'll teach can you. you. I'll teach you. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Chains was seen engaging with one of these Optimus robots. So that's the gist of it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's see here. Oops. Oops. My bad. All right, so. In that Tesla's Optimus robots were human assisted during the company's We Robot event, including oh, video by attendees where the robots, or the people speaking through the robots, confirmed they weren't fully autonomous. It might be some. We decided to take a look at the Optimus Gen 2 and its more affordable competitor, the Unitree G1, to explore the finer details of these hyped up humanoids. Let's get into it. In a new video from Tesla posted after the company's We Robot event, the company cleared up some questions about how its robots are controlled. Tesla says Optimus can explore unseen spaces autonomously. The video also shows many of the same skills we saw at the We Robot event in a controlled environment, such as handing out drinks and bags, which Tesla says it was doing autonomously. It even left the guy hanging like you saw at the We Robot event. However, there are important differences. Optimus autonomously. It even environment such as handing out drinks and bags, which Tesla says it was doing autonomously. It even left the guy hanging like we saw at the We Robot event. However, there are important differences. Optimus wasn't actually shown pouring drinks in this video like it was at the human assisted We Robot event. It was just handing them out autonomously. It's possible that these actions are able to be performed autonomously in a way. Notice where this robot is. Just something to think about. Well, that lab environment, but we're not ready to be performed autonomously in a dimly lit, loud environment crowded with people. Still, the conversation around autonomy that ensued in the wake of Tesla's We Robot event is a reminder of why autonomy is such an important milestone for robotics companies, and it presents an opportunity for us to separate the facts from the hype when evaluating a robotics company's marketing materials. For example, most of the time when a company's robot does something autonomously, the company will brag about it. That's because autonomy requires the robot has the ability to gather information, make decisions based on that information, and act on those decisions. Robotics company 1X released a video of its robots completing various tasks that it says were, quote, all autonomous. Similarly, Figure has shown videos of its Figure 2 robot autonomously manipulating the placement of parts in a... What is it? Do okay, you, you, you're catching my drift, I think factory setting. All this to say that autonomy should never be assumed if the company doesn't say it outright. There's a lot of human assisted magic that can be hidden behind that glossy robotic facade and some companies may take advantage of it. One of Tesla's competitors in the robotics market, Unitree, has shared videos on his YouTube channel of the humanoid G1 robot. None mention autonomy as a means of control. The videos appear to be intended to showcase the robot's physical capabilities rather than how it's controlled. A video of the Unitree H1, the G1's humanoid predecessor, shows the robot being teleoperated by a person. And Unitree's website says that the G1 includes a manual controller. That's not to say that the Unitree G1 won't have autonomous capabilities, but it certainly hasn't been the focus of the company's marketing for the G1 so far. All right. We, we, you get the gist, right? What's going on? So generally, my first question is, what are your thoughts about that? Shit. <clears throat> what you got you every day? Yeah, I was waiting on you all, man. <laughs> so, so my first thought is, well, my first, my first question is, do you think we're headed towards iRobot? 
given what you're seeing with this. They always say the movies be what, so many years ahead of us, right? Yeah, a lot of them Are, robot movies and a lot of them future movies be not too far ahead of us, right? That's what we headed to, right? Tutu said yes. I believe so, too. I agree. What you think? You think we're headed towards our robot? Yeah, I mean, if you <clears throat> if you rewind where we were 100 years ago versus probably where we're going to be in 100 more years from now, we've definitely progressed faster than we've probably progressed in the past 2,000 years within this past 100 years. Mm, like, you, in, in the past 100, we've grown faster than 2,000 yeah. years. Okay. Yeah, I think so. As far as uh, technology. Uh, but I think people... The more you embrace shit like this, people want to embrace it. And um, to me, between this and the uh, the AI voiceover shit, you know, they're using, um, I think all that, and, you know, they're going to combine it and, you know, uh, do whatever they're going to do. I don't see the purpose of it, personally. So the purpose for regular, everyday humans. Like, I don't see the purpose of this shit. Just to make other people more lazier than what yeah. we are? No, That's the only thing I see. I can't even see that. This ain't gonna be the Jetsons where you got the little robotic bitch uh, vacuuming and mopping and stuff. This you don't be think some, so? Because no. they, they just showed it, handed out, handing out uh, this gonna be some water. Other, this gonna be some other shit. Watch. Be some shit. It's gonna be, like. it's gonna be Terminator, nigga. This, sure this gonna be iRobot. Be some shit you don't like. <laughs> it's not gonna be her. Whatever her name was in the, on the Jetsons. Right. <laughs> now I'm curious. Now I want to look it up. <laughs> was it Rosie? Uh, Ro- I think it was Rosie. Rosie, yeah. It was Rosie. So uh, my second question is, so you saw in a certain part of the video that it looked like, I don't know what it was exactly, but the robot was handling machine parts. Let's see. Oh, so you think about the replacement they building jobs. each other? Oh yeah, oh, they build each other too. Right there. Yeah, they replacing jobs too. That's what you was thinking, right? That's exactly what I'm thinking. That's what they really built. I ain't gonna say that's what they really building them for, but that's what they're trying to get to first. Yeah, I think it's it's a multifaceted venture, right? There's multiple different things that they are yeah. doing with these robots. Yeah, but they're trying to get it to be the workforce first, and then all the other shit will come later. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. And what I and what I notice is uh, when I hear people talk about it in the media that are far more knowledgeable about this mm-hmm. is they'll try to say they'll try to verbalize things in a way that makes it seem like this is for the this it makes things mm. beneficial to human beings. How? Because one of the one of the ways that they'll say is it'll Increased jobs in the technology field. Now, I don't know how specifically, but the first thing that comes to mind is people that are watching the human beings that are watching the robots. Right now, if that is the case. I the the, the scenario that comes to mind for me with that is one security guard monitoring 12 different cameras. Meaning that there's only one person watching 12 different robots. So how many jobs does that really provide? Especially if the robots are doing the jobs of the humans. It's, it's looking like I, didn't heard, I, didn't, I think I heard Jay every day say this, and I done heard a couple more podcasters come. It's going to come to a time where it's going to be a universal income. Everybody going to be on this base because it's going to be all the robots doing all the, all the jobs like that, like you say. And everybody's going to have the government just going to be paying everybody a flat rate of money. Well, like, isn't it going to get to a point where the robots, you know, basically going to have a mind of their own? They're going to say, fuck this shit. Why would we do something for people or whatever humans, you know, at that point, they probably feel like they're more superior. We're smarter. Why won't we, Why don't we turn them into slaves? And how, how could you combat a goddamn robot? Them bullets ain't going to do shit. Need some e- EMPs around this bitch. Okay. You better have a lot of them. <laughs> EMPs. So, how could you combat a robot? And the time we living in, you know, some of these people gonna be like, "Did you? Did that robot give you consent to make it work like that?" That was a. Uh, I forget what it's a uh, like. I forget what show it was. But it was a robot that. Uh, how do I say it? It was a. Um, 
comedy skit or whatever of clay figures in a like there was a professor standing in front of a room explaining what the robot does <laughs> and the students in the classroom asked can you have can you have, <laughs> can you penetrate the can you penetrate the robot what oh man y'all niggas is weird um, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't like all this dumbass <laughs> robot shit, man. Because when, when you get people creating robots, they already weird. And then you talking about having sex with robots and shit. I, I promise you that shit weird, bro. This I is all. This is like Blade Runner. I could have sworn some across my timeline came like that. What they were talking about, they were like, it's already not that many men, and it was like a lot of women going to be with robots or something. Oh and yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's, it's that. not that many men. I was I was hearing I, and a video came across it and you saw like a lady laying up with a man I mean with a robot cuddling up and all that stuff. Just stupid, boy. Well, this shit's stupid. So I also saw another thing. Excuse me. On the same level of what um, I was saying, where it, now this was just a post. I didn't see a video of it, but a robot was able to carry a child for for humans. It was just a picture, so I didn't I didn't research it, but I just saw it. No, no, no. I'm not gonna do that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Interesting, but see, I, I would have. Now here's a question, right? If that is the case, because I don't know if y'all heard, but Will said we already got test tube babies, and doesn't matter what the test tube looks like. Which that's an interesting point because I imagine. How? What's the point of walking around in a robot? <laughs> point of that? There has to be so much more to it than. I mean, there's a lot of complexities that happen with pregnancy. Isn't that a bonding? What were you trying to get the with the, the human child to bond with the with the robot? So, so now it's conditioned in the child's mind that hey, I'm this a robot. Was, yeah, or I'm a robot, or to have more love uh, or affection towards robots. I don't know. That shit weird. And you niggas is weird. Yes. <laughs> weird. Not unique. Weird. So, let's see. Napson Beauty said, the game Detroit Become Human is a great piece of media of what to come in the near future. Tutu says, sorry, y'all. I'm cooking. Uh, what you whipping up? Sorry, y'all. I'm not engaging much, but only because I'm cooking. <laughs> you missed last week's episode. What you whipping up? <laughs> uh, Nasty Beauty said, I have no mouth and I must scream is another piece of, oh, that sounds wild. I have no mouth and I must scream is another piece of media or short story that explains when I, AI becomes sentiment, it's messed up. I'm, I'm going to try to remember those to check them out. But I love short films. Them shits be, they pack a lot in that shit. Yeah, they do. They do. Better than, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's real extract or it's real condensed yeah it's to the point it's to the point you know what i mean we're not finna sit up here and try to because we're not really making a whole bunch of money off this so mm -hmm. we're trying to get our point across we're trying to uh, um share with you our views uh unlike you know just full-blown movies where they just kind of stretch it out and try you know add all yeah. the other fillers imaginative <laughs> thing. Yeah. uh what art imitates life is what Somebody okay, so here's a question yeah. regarding this. Do we agree or disagree that art imitates life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what they say, uh, uh, life is stranger than fiction. Okay, so on that same regard, can life imitate art? Yeah, you can get some inspiration from art as well. I don't know if you can if it imitates it because, but. What do you think? Can life imitate art? It's about to start. <laughs> yeah. Like, life can't imitate art. Because people can be like, you know, I like this photo and I'm for the... Ain't that's where, so, what, ain't that's where some people get, like, inspiration of, like, how to build their houses and stuff like that? What do you mean? Like, say, for instance, they see a picture or they see something that somebody painted or whatever, and then they try to make this come to reality. Make this real. Okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Hmm. So, 
Real quick, for me, I, I think that um, everything that you basically, well, a, a good chunk of the things that you see out here is already in nature, and humans have try, tried to find a way to replicate that, right? So if we're using machines, uh, robots, they're replicating, they're basically trying to replicate what we already are, right? So anything, uh, think about an uh, airplane, something like an airplane, it's just a replica of a big-ass bird, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you can ride it, but it's a bird. Mm. Um and there's other things and examples I really can't think about right now, but there's something I did think about before. And um, so everything that's created, to me, is something that you've seen already out there in nature. Okay, hey, let me let me pull this up because see if I can pull it up. Um, robots. This is what I just found, just in quick Googles, because this was bothering me. So, Musk's baby carrying bot might be just might just slash pregnancy complications and tragic losses, especially in places where top notch medical care isn't always available. This is definitely an argument to be had here. Talking about the new Optimus project, Musk was all smiles, boasting it can do anything you want, according to Euro Weekly News. You 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 know what I don't like about this stuff though. Cause yeah, people, playing, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause people love to like, oh, it can do this, it can do this. But what's the worst case scenario? Mm-hmm. Fuck all the uh, what all it can do. What's the worst? What's the what's the odds? Though? What's the let's let's get the pros and cons. What's the cons to it too? That's like that, you know, that commercial that come on TV. It's gonna tell you about that pill and that pill gonna, yeah. you know, what I'm saying it's gonna get your dick hot. You know, what I'm saying no ditty. Yeah. But then. Hey, you know what? You could also die from, you know, right? So you got to weigh that and say, you know what? I don't think I need that. And, and, I'm going to do some push ups. And guess, and guess what? It's Just some push ups, some jump. I'm, I'm going to go on these bike trails, like get the, like you said, get the blood flowing. Yeah. But then also, it says that at the end of the video, and it says that quick. The and negatives. It yeah, mm-hmm. it says all the negatives, quick and low. So you can't really hear it. But people will still fuck the cons and go with all the pros. Give me that and honey and, pack. And, and, and that, <laughs> <laughs> but that's just like with, with women with, with, when they go get plastic surgery. Oh, it can make me look like this and this. But you know that is a part of that too. Yeah. So you're willing to take that risk for death just to make you look better. Here it is. This is the picture I saw. That is weird. Right here. I don't even know if I can nah, make it man. bigger. God help us. <laughs> Don't worry, we we're probably being clocked out for all this shit coming. Yeah, please. So this is what I'm talking about when I say like, how does that? How does it relate to as far as feeding the baby? Like, where's the umbilical cord? Is there an umbilical cord? Like, how does the how when it comes time for the baby to be delivered? Do you just open this little dome and pull the baby out? Like, the, how does the, this? Is it is it the thing you know how you um. What a fire extinguisher be? And a little hammer be on the side? Is it a little hammer on the side of the thing? <laughs> you you just, just crack it and it bust open? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what confuses me about it. And I was like, wow. Everything about, we're, we're really trying to turn, no, not weird. weird. Yeah, What's happening is the, the, everything about the human element is being turned into robots. From, from as low as jobs, all the way until up to natural physical processes. Like how does this even happen? Like how does the 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 baby even get inside of the robot? Somebody put it there. <laughs> right. I agree. That shit weird too. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. When we start saying shit weird, that shit weird too. I don't know how the test tube thing works specifically. But it, it could be whatever. But it's, it's it's lines to a lot of stuff. And I think once you la- you know allow, once you allow one thing, you open up the door to the next. So you can either stick it, th- keep it there with the test tube. Why why do we have to progress forward into robots? Robots carrying the front. You can, and that's what I'm saying. That's weird, nigga. Shit. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> so that, that, that's what I'm saying. You open up the door just because after that, it's going to be some more shit and some more shit. 
Like, let nature do what nature do. You can't have the baby part of the game. But, but how they say it, though, um, we always say when you open Pandora's box, mm-hmm. when you open Pandora's box, a lot of shit come out of there that you weren't expecting to come out. I, I personally don't need one. I'm, I'm cool. Like, we go back. The, the That's the real, the ultimate factor into the, all of this because with every company, they're always looking to grow. And the only way to grow is to advance things more and more and more and more. So, that's as long as profit, you know, as long as they're getting profit, I don't even know if they got to grow. They just want profit. That's what came across my document. I was like, what? This is. Like I said, that shit weird. Shit weird and scary. That's some, ho- that's some Halloween shit. Turn that off. Man. Let's, go, <laughs> let's go to something else, man. It's scary. Thank you guys for tuning into the, the No Key Podcast. Thank you for being a part of the conversation. Um, hit the like button. Share this with your friends. Tell them your your favorite after church podcast is on right now. Thank you very much.